Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about similarity of polygons and also take on a couple of practice problems. All right, so let's get started. What is similarity? All right, similar figures have the same shape but not the same size. So we see two square looking figures on the left and the right. They have the same shape. They're both they both look like squares, but they're not the same size. Well, we can say that they're similar because their shape is the same, but they don't necessarily have to be the same size. Right? Dilation is, and this relates to similarity of figures, dilation is the proportional increase in the size of an object. So a dilation would go from the object on the left, it would increase in size, uh, it would still be proportional, and it would be the same shape, but it would be a larger size figure. That's dilation. A reduction is a proportional decrease in the size of an object. So we're going from a larger object with the same shape to a smaller object of the same shape. So when we talk about dilation and reduction, we're talking about similar figures, the change in similar figures, uh, keeping their same shape but increasing or decreasing the size of those two figures. Right, when we talk about similar polygons, those are polygons in which the ratios of the corresponding sides are equal and the corresponding sides are congruent. So the ratios of the corresponding sides are gonna be equal and the corresponding angles are gonna be congruent. So in this case, I have two triangles. Uh, they are both the same shape, but they're not the same size, they're similar. And I have triangle ABC I say it's similar to DEF. So when I write in a shorthand of similar or similar figures, it's gonna be this little squiggly line that looks like this. All right, so I say ABC, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. What I mean there is that all the angles are gonna be congruent and the ratios of the corresponding sides are gonna be equal. So I see if triangle ABC is similar to DEF. I know that order matters when I identify a triangle. That means that side lengths AB uh, is, are proportional to DE, BC to EF, and AC to DF. So that means that if I have a ratio of three to four and six to eight, then uh, in this case, the length of triangle B to C if I'm not mistaken, it is going to be, well, let's take a look here. If we have three to four, let's write this out, and that's equal to six to eight, and that's gonna be equal to 12 to what value? All right, so in this case, E to F is gonna be equal to 16, so that length is 16. So the side lengths the ratios of the side lengths are the same, so they're proportional, and the corresponding angles are gonna be congruent. All right, let's take a look at another problem. I have triangle ABC, which is similar to triangle DEF. The lengths are as shown. Find the length of EF. Well, I know the ratio of AB to DE is gonna be two to one, so BC to EF is also gonna be two to one, and EF is going to be equal to five. All right, let's take a look at another problem. I have triangle NPR, which is similar to triangle STV. Uh, the lengths and the angles are shown. We're gonna find the measure of angle TS and segment VT. All right, so NPR is similar to triangle STV, so we know angles T and P are congruent. I can say that angle T is going to be equal to 90 degrees. I can say that angle R is gonna be equal to 60 degrees. That leaves me with 30 degrees left for S because we know that the sum of the measures of uh, all the angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees. So I have 30, 60, and 90. I have 180 degrees. Now, if the side lengths are proportional, or the ratio is the same between the corresponding side lengths, I have a ratio of 15 to 20 from STV to NPR. So let me write this here, 15 to 20, and I can reduce that ratio because I have a common factor of five. So the ratio is gonna be equal to three to four. And I, ha I need to find out what the side length of VT is, and I'm gonna say that that's gonna be 
x, and then I know that rp is going to be 10. So I use my cross multiplication, which I learned in the first uh, section, an 8, 1, and I know that 4x is equal to 30, so then x is going to be equal to 7.5. Okay, moving on. Last part of the lesson. Theorem 61 says that the ratio of the parameters of two similar polygons equals the ratio of any pair of corresponding sides. So I can see here, as an example, I have two similar figures, uh, two rectangles with side lengths 3 and 4 and 6 and 8. So I know that the ratio of the side lengths is 2 to 1. And if we calculate the perimeter, the perimeter of the smaller uh, rectangle is going to be 14 and the perimeter of the larger rectangle is going to be 28. So we see that not only are the side lengths uh, have a ratio of 2 to 1, but also the perimeters have a ratio of 2 to 1. All right, moving on to our one practice problem. Let's take a look. Problem number 18. Uh, I have triangle ABC, which is similar to triangle DEF. The lengths are shown, uh, and we need to find the measure of angle F. Okay, well, we know that angle F is 5x plus y. We know that uh, angle A is 50 degrees. We know that D is 2x plus 5y. Well, we can figure out <clears throat> uh, what the value of x is in terms of y. If we rewrite the equation as 2x plus 5y is equal to 50. And I think let's just solve, let's solve for y in this case. Um, so we know that angle A is equal to angle D. I know that 2x plus 5y is equal to 50. So I can say that 5y is equal to 50 minus 2x. Or I could say that y is equal to 10 minus 0.4x. All right, well, I also know that 5x plus y is this particular angle here. So I know that 5x plus a y is equal to this angle. I'm going to substitute in 10 minus 0.4x for y, and I'm going to get 5x uh, plus 10 minus 0.4x, which is the same as 4.6x uh, plus 10 for the angle F. So I have 4.6x plus 10 for angle F. Now I also know that angle E is the same as or congruent to or the same measure as angle B which is 102 minus X. And I know that the sum of the measures of all the triangle, uh, all the angles in a triangle are equal to 180 degrees. So I can say now that angle A or angle D which is 50 degrees plus angle B which is the same or E which is the same as angle B 102 degrees minus X plus angle F which is 4.6 X plus 10 is equal to 180 degrees. Well I can rewrite that. I know that 50 plus 102 is equal to 152 I subtract 152 from both sides and I get 28. So I know now that uh, minus x plus 4.6x, which is 3.6x, is equal to 28. And now I can solve for x. x is going to be equal to, x is going to be equal to, and now it looks like I forgot to also subtract the 10, so it's actually 3.6x is equal to 18. And so x is going to be equal to 5. So if x is equal to 5, uh, then f and y is equal to 10 minus 0.4x. Uh, then I have 5 times 5 plus 10 minus 0.4x, and that will give me the value of x. So I have 25 plus 10 minus 0.4 times 5, which is minus 2. So I have 35 minus 2, which is equal to 33 degrees. 
So you can see in this case what we did is we related the similar triangles. We know that similar triangles have congruent angles. We figured out the relationship between these similar triangles and the angles. We solved for y in terms of x. We used substitution. And then we figured out the value of x is equal to 5 based on our knowledge that the sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees.